Hi, I'm Daniel, and I'm going to rank all 47 Hamilton songs. This will be a young video. Hamilton is a great movie, and it got a film version recently on Disney Plus, and there is a lot of songs. I considered doing the top 10 best songs, but that is enough because there are so many contenders for the best. Also, this will have spoilers, so watch in some form first, and I haven't seen it live, so if some songs are there on stage, I wouldn't know. Normally, I would count reprises as the same, but here they are separate. 47. The Adams Administration This is the only song I don't like because it's too short. I'm probably going to say this a year, but the original version of this song is so much better because it has a younger extended version. For some reason, this is a short song when it was a major part in Hamilton's reputation being destroyed. 46. Take a break. I am mixed on this song, I like the My Name is Philip rap and the Yetters, but it feels too young, especially in Act 2, which is really rushed in the R pieces. 45. Meet Me Inside. Normally, this show works with being non stop songs well, but this feels like it is meant to be dialogue. 44. Help Yes. This song feels a bit too long with all the choruses, but it introduces motifs well. 43. The Story of Tonight. Now we are onto the songs that I consider good. It is nice to have a slower song right after the Big My Shot, but it only really exists to sell theatre songs instead of having its own identity. 42. Hurricane. This song is great for giving Hamilton's worst decision a baffles build up. However, it isn't really one I listen to often, and both I have this friend and the workshop version are way better. 41. One Last Time A good way to end Washington's character arc, but this song's kind of overrated. 40. Sky You're Defeated It is short and also could be dialogue, but has the Sky Assisted music and a lot of amazing lines. 39. Fan Refuted I don't know what reason this song has to exist, but it's a really fun rap battle. 38. Right Hand Man. The opening and ending are superb, but this is more expositionally than the rest of Hamilton's songs. 37. That would be enough. This song is good, but nothing really pulls it above that. 36. Cabinet Battle 2. This is the worst cabinet battle because the votes don't hit as hard. However, the debate is more interesting than the first one, so it gets points there. 35. Burn. First Burn is better by a yacht. This song is still really good, but the original version really overshadows it. 34. A Winter's Ball. This song is funny. 33. We Know. This has a lot of great lines, but it doesn't really stand out much compared to all the other songs. 32. Stay Alive Reprise. This is an amazing scene, but as a song on its own. 31. Say no to this. The climax is the best part of the song by a yacht. 30. Best of wives and best of women. I know it's a short song, but having this is so much better than going straight to the world was wide enough. And the motif of why do you write it when our time fits so perfectly. 29. History has its eyes on you. Yet the previous. This song is good for being needed gap time instead of going straight to the next song. 28. The Ten Door Commandments. Most of the numbers don't add much aside from number 8. That whole bit is amazing for both foreshadowing and being music incredible. 27. Yorans Interviewed. Why isn't this on the soundtrack? There is some singing and the music is playing over the dialogue so it should count as a proper song so I decided to count it anyway. People who listen to the soundtrack on its own first are missing out because this feels like the main turning point of the entire musical. 26. Blow us all your way. This song is surprisingly upbeat and catchy which juxtaposes with that ending. 25. Story of Tonight Reprise. A way superior version of the original story of tonight. 24. Cabinet Battle War. This song has so many great yarns and roasts that I easily get to this part of the yes. 23. Aaron Bursa. It's a much when compared to what's just before and just after, but this is still a catchy song 
which introduced the characters well and still would have been a great opening. 22. Stay Alive This song has such a dark tone and creepy music which fits with the fact that it's war and the brutality and what you have to go through with the war that you're in. Even though I wish they kept all the lines from Valley Forge and also that type of music style is even darker. 21. You'll Be Back This is a great song but a bit too young, unlike 20. What Come Next Better than the first song for being nice and short and still having the same impact, but it's not King George's best song. 19. I Know Him All three of King George's songs are right next to each other in the yes, because they're not too far away in quality. This is the best out of the three for man yet fun about this guy's existence, and for teasing John Adams and what he's like before Adams' administration. 18. The World Was Wide Enough this feels like three songs and they are all great. First, a pretty good reprise for the Ten Year Commandments. Second, Hamilton's monologue. It starts with the I Imagine Death so much if it make a memory motif and ends with the Raise the Gas to Freedom motif with multiple of it in the middle. Motif doesn't even feel like a word anymore after all of this. Third, the world was wide enough bit, which is easily the best out of the three for ending Burr's character arc. This is a spectacular penultimate song, and I see where the original 10 Things One Things was going, but I prefer this. 17. Wait For It This song is objectively one of the best, but I personally prefer songs with multiple people singing rather than solo numbers. 16. What Did I Miss an amazing way to reintroduce the characters from Act 1 and to introduce new characters. It also sounds very really good and is very really catchy. 15. Watch on your side. I don't really have much to say about this song other than it's great. 14. Yorktown or The World Turned Upside Down. I like the first two thirds of this song, but the conclusion is why it is this high on the list. 13. The Sky Your Sisters This song is really great but I kind of feel like it comes out of nowhere in the context right after hearing about these five people about to start a war and going to this. 12. The Reynolds Pamphlet This song has great lyrics and music which is really catchy in a good way. My only problem is that Angelica should have had the congratulations to the Eater's song instead of just the mini bit here. Ayevan, the Theodosia. This juxtaposition and contrast between Burr and Hamilton makes this song. It kind of feels a bit weird in the middle of all these story heavy songs, but that's kind of one of the reasons what makes it so great. It does it better than the Sky of Sisters. But however, it just missed the top 10. 10. The Room Where It Happened. This song is incredible in almost every way because it sounds great, the lyrics are well written, and it is great in the context of the story and characters. 9. The Election of 1800 After having four sad songs in a row about Hamilton and Yaris and Philip, it's good to get back to the other story in a song that sounds great and sets up the rest of the musical well. Speaking of... 8. Your Obedient Servant the tone of this song has a very villainous feel because it is two characters opposing ideas getting them into a duo that ends up making one of them die. For once the original version is worse because all the lines don't hit the same and it feels like each bit is over too quick here without getting them to save everything they need to. 7. Alexander Hamilton An amazing introduction that should feel like exposition, but it doesn't because of the way how it's everything is introduced and goes well together. 6. Satisfied To be honest, Angelica is really underutilised as a character, with the exception of this song. It is 5 minutes young and it used its young yen for good use, unlike healthy as what came right before. 5. Guns and Ships What an amazing song. It is pretty short, but that is all the time it needs. And while I'm used to the cast down version, it is way better when you're watching some form of live way. Now we are in the top four, which are by far the best songs in my opinion, and what makes Hamilton so amazing.
for my shot. Immediately in the show, we get absolute masterpiece of a song. It introduces Hamilton's motivation, what the entire musical is about, and above everything, the music and lyrics are spectacular. Yeah. The I Imagine Death so much of Old Mega Memory bit is the best part of any Hamilton song. 3. It's Quiet Uptown. This song is incredible in almost every way. The music, lyrics, importance to the story, and character development. 2. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story. An almost perfect ending. Everyone's final line is superb, and it finally answers the question motif about legacies. Normally the end for a musical like this will be all high climax and dramatic, but I like this song's subversion. Especially because we already had an amazing dramatic act ending scene. 1. Non-stop Non-stop is easily the best Hamilton song in my opinion, because practically the entire song is a highlight. The opening, middle and ending are all so amazing that I can't even mention which one is my favourite like I did with all the other songs. It sounds great, both as a standalone song and as a reprise to multiple songs. It is six minutes of practically perfection in my opinion. In conclusion, this is my tiriest of these songs. You can't really say a well good kind of theory, but it's a reminder of my ranking. This was also my longest video so far, and it is kind of because my channel just turned one year old recently. And it's my first mega ranking where I rank more than 25 things. In the future, expect more rankings both for a lot of things and of a small amount of things. The end. Less.